Hey, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will discuss about one of the important field in pricing, that is KINAC. In our previous videos, we discussed about this field KINAC, which will hold the values either A or K or L or M or X or Z. The length of this field is uh, one character. And now let's understand in this video. So, what does it mean A, K, X, L, M, Z? And in which cases that will be updated into KINAC field? First, we will look at that X, inactive via formula or incorrect. So, X will be updated into KINAC field whenever uh, quantity conversion failure happens, currency conversion translation ha failure happens, field overflow for the fields like uh, condition uh, basis, that is KWRT or condition value, that is KWRT or formulas assigned to this uh, condition basis or condition value failure happens. Uh, and uh, in case of the base price where KOAID equal to B, where condition amount is uh, zero, uh, system will try to prevent that uh, zero pricing from remain as a last active non-static price. So whenever quantity failure happens, then uh, 804 message number will be updated into XKOMV FX MSG and KOMP FX MSG. Similar way, whenever currency translation failure happens, then 803 will be updated. And in case of field overflow, 802 will be updated. So in all these cases, the KOMP PROSK field updated as blank. This PROSK indicate the pricing, whether the price is incomplete or complete. If it is blank, then the pricing is incomplete. A second one uh, we are going to see is that W. So, so whenever any item rejected in an order, then those condition types, statistical items will be updated as W. Statistical items can be identified with the field KOMP, KOW, RR. The next one is A, that is condition exclusion item. This will be updated whenever condition exclusion uh, group concept will be triggered. And uh, we have two more, K and L. These two are applied in case of the freight cost determination only. Uh, coming to L, uh, this one will be applied specifically in case of freight cost determination. Uh, for normal pricing, uh, there is no exclusion at header level. So, condition exclusion will happen item level only. Uh, for freight only, we have at header level. And whenever uh, anything goes wrong, when we try to add any condition type manually, then that will be inactivated with the reason or indicator as M. And T, T also similar to freight cost only, like K and L. And the important thing is why inactive because of subsequent price. An order or invoice can determine only one active base price, KOAID equal to B. If system identifies second base price, then it will try to inactivate the first base price with the reason of Y. And the last one is uh, Z. This will be updated in case of in internal interval scales. Uh, therefore, it must not be used in a user-defined logic and in user-defined enhancements. Uh, 